Welcome to another session of SAGE 300 third-party applications. This session will demonstrate the ORCID Inter-Entity Trade Module. The application works with the order entry, purchase order, payables, and receivable modules. By processing a sales order in a source company, it will generate a purchase order in a target company. Likewise, by processing a purchase order in a source company, it will generate the corresponding sales order in the target company. The same goes for payables and receivables. By processing an invoice in AR in the source company, it will generate a payable in the target company. Or by processing a payable in the source company, it will generate a receivable in the target company. Today's demonstration will show the complete cycle from the issuance of the purchase order in the source company to the receipt of payment against the sales in invoice in the target company. So these are all the transactions that are going to be processed today, all 10 of them. And you will see that the only real data input actually occurs here uh, when, we, when we create the purchase order. All these other transactions are either automatically generated by inter-entity or by sale, Sage 300 itself. So let's start. In company A, we're going to create a purchase order. I'm going to order one of these items for $350. In our target company, our interrelated company, It's automatically created our order. So now all we have to do it in company B, the target company, is ship the order. That will have created the receipt in the, in the source company. Here's our receipt. Back in the target company, company B, they're gonna go ahead and invoice that shipment. And in the source company, in their purchase order module, that's our PO invoice that was generated. So all company A has to do now is pay that.
And in company B, there's our receipt processed against the original invoice. So, again, what have we done? All we did was we created a purchase order. It generated a sales order in the target company. The target company shipped the order. That created a PO receipt against the original purchase order in the source company. The target company, company B, then invoiced the shipment, which created a PO invoice against the PO receipt in the source company. And while it generated that uh, invoice, that of, of course Sage 300 generated and posted an invoice in the in the target company. Back in the source company now, the AP invoice was created and posted by virtue of inner entity generating this PO invoice. So all this target company had to do was pay that invoice, which then inner entity created. A receipt against their sales invoice in the target company. So basically, there was essentially just one source of entry in this entire 10 transaction cycle that was the purchase order, and all these other transactions were generated either by Sage 300 or by Orchid Interentity. Thank you for joining us today.